Seventh Hussars from the camp over in Balaclava. Another copy when you find a second? <laughs> Make you want to charge into battle, wouldn't it? Oh, believe me, when the summer season is at its height, there is no resort in the whole of the Crimea more exciting, more vibrant than Yalta. The crowds, the bustling restaurants, the commotion of languages, the promenade, the elegant municipal park, the obligatory day trip to the silver waterfall at Orianda, the nightly ritual of going down to the quay and watching the new arrivals pouring out of the Theodosia ferry with its lights dancing and expectant, and of course, the mysterious Black Sea itself that embraces and holds all these elements together, especially at night when the water is a soft, warm lilac and the moon throws a shaft of gold across it. Oh, thank you kindly. And sugar? Excellent. But of course, the town square is the heart of Yalta. That's where the tourists congregate and sip coffee from morning until night. And from under their straw hats and parasols, they silently, secretly scrutinize one another it is the great, unacknowledged Yalta game, and it is played in a kind of dream state, and at the same time, almost voraciously. That couple is back. Where were they yesterday? Not married, are they? Madam, please, certainly not married. And there's that Greek boy again, still coughing. What disappointment is he trying to recuperate from? When that husband dies this winter, as surely he will, what will become of her? Has she the resolution to stagger on? Oh, yes, she has. Look at her, staring into space, already making all the icy calculations. They're new. French, are they? Young lady, you shouldn't let him see how desperately you love him. It's a day-long diversion, drinking coffee and divining others' lives or investing the lives of others with an imagined life. Harmless enough, I suppose. Madam, please, this is a public square. You know the season is coming to an end when you see the first of the shutters going up? and the wind whips up a choking gust, and there is only a score of coffee drinkers left to invent one another. And slowly, the vibrancy and excitement subside, and the place becomes not yet desolate, but just a little dejected. And you realize you have to disengage yourself from these dreamy pleasures and this other world routine and think about going back to Moscow. Work, children, wife, home. That requires just a little effort. I had been in Yalta for almost two weeks, and on my second last day, about three in the afternoon, I was sitting in the square with the remnants of the faithful, and suddenly a young woman out of the Merino Hotel, pink blouse, black skirt, and a fawn Pomeranian at her heels, and came across the square towards our corner, walking so briskly with her head down as if she wanted to be under observation for as short a time as possible. And the straw hats and parasols stirred ever so slightly. Want coffee, please? Why? 
instinct and the dog maybe. Is there a husband back in a hotel? Maybe not here at all? Why not? Let's find out. I sent my husband a telegram when I got here two days ago. <laughs> Dear Nikolai, arrived safely, Hotel Marina Constantopla. Weather mixed. Doing a lot of walking. Get Sonia to shampoo all the upstairs carpet. His reply came this morning. I miss you so badly, but it will be a wonderful break for you. It will make a new woman of you. Enjoy it. I will join you just as soon as I can get away. All my love to my infant, Nikolai. <laughs> he was 40 then. I could have been his infant. And I could see his quiet, earnest eyes as he wrote the words. He thought that being his infant must make me feel so assured. <coughs> and even though the panic to get away from Targalova has already lost some urge of its urgency now that I was here, the words, my infant, animated that restlessness again. And I had to get, keep telling myself that, yes, Yalta would restore me, give me my life, some calm again, show me how much I had to be grateful for, or at least, you just missed the hussars trying to quicken the blood for battle. He's a handsome little fellow. Yes. Is he a bit spoiled? She. I beg your pardon? Birthday present from Nikolai, my husband. Very nice. Nikolai. An octogenarian with a bulbous nose <laughs> and a drip. <laughs> Has she a name? Not yet. Very intelligent eyes. Understanding. May I give her a biscuit? If you wish. Dear girl. Hey! I'm only being agreeable. She's, she's nervous. I'm not going to harm you. First time in Yalta? Oh, uh, yes. You'll be back. I come every year, part holiday, part work. I'm an accountant in a bank, although I did my degree in philology 170 years ago. <laughs> I I'm not the most brilliant banker in Moscow. Have you been to Orianda? Sorry? Orianda, the waterfall. Almost an hour from here, well worth a visit. There's a train every... Don't look now, but there's a young man over there on my right. Pink cravat, white shoes. See him? Yes. Watch what he's slipping into his coffee. Sugar? <laughs> Liquid heroin. No. Don't stare. How do you... I had to be taken down from the top of the cathedral's spire last Sunday, before Vespers. They say his wife ran off with a cavalry officer. One armed, tragic story. And do you see that frail little creature in the satin dress? Looks what? as if she's about to die. Where? No, no, further left. The black dress? She's in charge of the elephants in the Moscow Zoo. That little white haired lady. And the husband? The enormous man with the gray beard? He knows you're talking about him. I am not. I expect some rain this <laughs> afternoon, but it, it is that time of year, isn't it? At least 25 stone weight. Too much brandy. Once the principal dancer at the Kirov. That man was a ballet. Known in those days as Il Folletto. <laughs> the elf. The Italian. She's German. They got married while they were still at college just like me. And each has refused to learn the other's language so that when they want to communicate, they write notes to one another. <laughs> in broken English. I think you're trying to make look, a... Look, she's passing him a message now. So she is. He's reading it, shakes his head, disapproves of whatever it is she has said, passes it back to her. Yes. Strange way to talk, isn't it? Wait a minute. Eventually, their vocal cords will atrophy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bill she's handing him. Their coffee bill. Is it? 
Yes. She's putting the money on top of her. You're absolutely right. You are taking a hand at me. No, no. Just playing the Yalta game. The what? I'll explain it later. I'm going to Oriana tomorrow to say goodbye to the waterfall. Come with me. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. And bring the charming lady along, and you'll baptize her up there in the silver water. What will we call her? Oh, my husband will make it. Yalta. What about Yalta? A dog called Yalta. Why not? <laughs> Always remind you of here. By the way, I'm Dmitri Gurov from Moscow. And you are? Uh, I am Anna Sergeyevna from Asagola. Italian? <laughs> Four miles north of St. Petersburg. Pagola? It's three miles south of Rome. I think in real life you're a tenor in an Italian opera company. We get a lot of them in Moscow. See that man eating an ice cream? He claims to be an illegitimate son of Queen Victoria of England. He's probably right, she had 19. <laughs> I'll pick you up at the Merino at 10, and I'll have you safely home in time for dinner. You never got your coffee. Oh, it doesn't matter. Maybe the coffee waiters are on a coffee break. I'll find out. Would she turn up? Perhaps. With her cranky little mongrel. <laughs> and if she doesn't? What a strange man. 170? 40. Maybe. And married. That's called dynasty. Probably two or three children. Could be all grown up by now. Not a bit like a banker. Or a philologist. Whatever the philologist looks like. <laughs> I should ask him that. Happy nature? <coughs> Not sure. For all his joking, there's something urgent about him. Curious word, conquest. Isn't it? I made another conquest last night. Militaristic ring about it. And maybe even a hint of violence. I'm not squeamish about it, but it's a word I've never used. I suppose because I've never thought of the women I've had over the years as trophies. More like companions in adventure. Exciting adventures. Delightful companions. Light-hearted Souffle adventures. <laughs> yes. That's how it always begins. It's the unacknowledged game, too. Of course, it can become complicated and then a bit difficult. And then maybe even a little frightening. And that's when you resolve never to become entangled again. But the beginning is always joyous. And who can resist that? Why should it be resisted? It's an impressive waterfall. What? Isn't it wonderful? Yes. It looks silver, doesn't it? It's frightening. A thousand gallons of water crash down there every 30 seconds. It's a bit overwhelming. Where's Yota? Let me hear and see this. Oh, she's frightened by the noise. And she's not dying about me, nor I about her. <laughs> Let's move back a bit. When is your husband coming to join you? Uh, as soon as he can get away. Away from what? His work. What's his work? He's a clerical officer in the office of municipal district. No, in the council district. Oh my God! I, I one or another. I'm so awful. I can never remember which. Shame on you. Anyhow, if he comes before I leave, we'll have to bring him up here. You are leaving tomorrow, aren't you? I think I'll stay on for another few days. We haven't explored the gardens, haven't been to the casino, and on Friday night we're going to meet the Theodosia Ferry. Do you see that barefoot boy at the railings? Beside the woman in the green shawl? He has just lifted her purse from her handbag. Who do you... Will you stop that? Come on, we're going to meet the train. Thank you for coming with me today. Oh. Yelda, Yelda, come on. Come here, girl. 
Who are you calling? Uh, Yalta. We just got pressure. My dog. What dog? <laughs> My dog. There. Will you stop that? You know there's no dog there. At your feet. There. Touch her. You are a very silly man. <sighs> yes. We're going to meet the train. The next day, we explored the municipal gardens. The following night, we went to the casino, where I swaggered a little, stupidly, and lost more than a little. She was prudent. And two days later, on the Friday night, we went down to the harbor and watched the arrival of the Theodosia Ferry with its lights dancing and its puffing Why did I think that he was strange? He wasn't strange at all. Just an ordinary man and considerate and generous and funny. <laughs> God, he would say something altogether absurd and you would look at him and his face would be all a song. I hadn't laughed so much in years. And yet at times he would withdraw into himself and you felt that, well, I don't know, you knew that there was a great loneliness in him. I had never seen her so at ease or so happy as that night at the harbor, or indeed so beautiful, with that unique beauty that youth endows. And in front of all those new expectant arrivals, we kissed, yes, without embarrassment. Then I took her hand, and we went back to the Marino Hotel and up to her room. It has to be said that she locked the damn dog in the closet <laughs> and the bastard scratched at the door all night long. It has to be said, too, that the next morning was turbulent. Tears, regrets, contrition, the usual. She actually did say, you'll never ever respect me again. Just a little disappointment. Why should you? How could you? You picked me up at the square, didn't you? Anna, you were... <laughs> do, do you... I'm just another street woman. How many more have you had since you came here? I have the utmost respect for you. And what you know nothing about, and of course what you care nothing about, is that I'm married to the most wonderful man, and who's kind and honorable, and who adores me. Why wouldn't he? And I have betrayed this honorable man, and I have degraded myself. What I have done is so wrong. No, not wrong. It's evil. I'm an evil person. <laughs> if you could see your eyes right now, you would despise me, and you have every right to despise me. Oh my God, why did I ever set my foot in this corrupt place? And the emotion was genuine, completely. Maybe a shade theatrical. <laughs> but no question of fakery. The poor child did think she had become Thankfully, she didn't use the words, but they wouldn't have been inappropriate to the way she was feeling. A fallen woman. Yes, remarkable. All I could see were Nikolai's quiet, earnest eyes. Those beautiful, earnest eyes. They weren't even accusing, weren't reproachful. They just gazed at me and asked, Why, Anna? Why? Then she threw her arms around me and hugged me fiercely as if I could rescue her from herself. And I noticed how lank her hair hung around her face and how those pert little features had gone so slack. And I realized suddenly that she was only a few years older than my own daughter. I wanted so much to hear him call me and hear him say in his gentle voice, Anna, my infant, my infant. I needed that reassurance so badly. We got through the morning somehow. Of course I told her I loved her, as indeed I did. And finally the sobbing stopped and the fear went out of her eyes. And somehow I even coaxed a laugh from her. Then we had lunch in Werner's restaurant. Mussels with garlic sauce done in a white wine. We both had the same. Excellent. Then a pleasant walk along the promenade. Had we had an established routine, you could have said we were back to normal. Look at that square across the street. Don't stare. 
Do you see them? I see them. And that's my role. Where's his left hand? What? His left hand. Where is it? Can you see it? I see a man in a gray suit. But no left hand visible. And why not? I see a staid couple enjoying a brisk walk along. The beast! Oh my god! In a broad daylight! What are you talking about? She is trying to walk normally, but how can she? God! Oh. Are you telling me he's... <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't you a naughty child? I swear! Very naughty! <laughs> but I'm right, aren't I? Absolutely! <laughs> Look at your face. And the beast believed that he keeps looking away from her, then nobody could guess that. <laughs> Yalta? Oh my god, Mitri! What? Where's Yalta? Isn't she there? At... She's gone! She, she's not gone. We'll stand oh here. Oh my god, oh my darling birthday present. Yalta! Yalta! Where is she? Oh god, Mitri, she's been stolen. She's lost. She ran away! Yalta! Yalta! Where are you? You were watching her! She can't be lost, Anna. Where is she then? She must be around here somewhere. Oh, you know she's not. Why didn't you mind her? Yalta! She's wise. She'll head back home. She's wise, isn't it? She'll go home to the marina. Don't stand there, Mindri. Go watch that far side of the street, and I'll watch this side. Oh my god, what will I tell Nikolai if she's not at the hotel? If I have lost her. She was right. The wise Yalta made her way home. There she was up in the bedroom, sitting possessively on the bed. <laughs> oh my darling, 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 dog! Excuse me, excuse me. And again? Again? Oh, look, look at how wretched she is. You are right to be ashamed of yourself. But all is forgiven, forgotten, my little sweetheart. Kiss the Mitri. Yes, kiss me too, my darling. Oh, yes, my little sweetheart, my darling. And never run away from me again. Do you hear? Never. Never. Oh, look at her little tail wagon like that. Oh, isn't she just beautiful? Yes. Indeed, yes. Very beautiful. Happiness all over the place. So we pulled the curtains and didn't go out again until it was time for dinner. And this time we were circumspect. We didn't lock the beast in the closet. You're early. I didn't expect you for another hour. I've got a cab waiting at the door. This morning we'll go across to Alushta to see the old Byzantine church there. It has the finest mosaic dome in Crimea. I've got telegram from Nikolai. From? Nikolai? My husband, he has to go into the hospital. A serious eye infection. Uh, he has me. He wants me to come home immediately. He sounds frightened. Uh, so I'm taking you on an express. Of course. Tonight. Uh, yes. Just as well that I'm going, isn't it? Yes. Nikolai is being sent to hospital. Some people call it fate. Will you see me off? When does the train leave? Seven thirty. Of course so. I'll, I'll see you all. It's all for the best, isn't it? I think that's everything. The bed seems comfortable and the place is warm. Not too warm, is it? Your cases are up there. Where, where's your hat box? Good. Yolta can sleep on that mat, and there's your coffee flask and croissants. Uh, and should you decide in the middle of the night that you don't want to go see Pargolovo for another few days, I still think you make that up. What? Pargolovo. This is where I leave, Dimitri. So you say. But even if you do, it's in Italy. <laughs> so you're going in the wrong direction. Four miles north of Petersburg. Sorry, 